The HashMap team has been working with an early version of the Snowpark API. It's now time to bring your code to the Snowflake Data Cloud with Snowpark. I'm going to give you some ideas on how we're thinking about using Snowpark, but before I do that, I'd like to run through a quick summary of Snowpark, how we see it shaping up at HashMap. Snowpark's a net new capability for Snowflake. It allows data engineers, data scientists, and developers, uh, really anybody almost, to write code in their own language of choice. This is really key. I can use familiar programming concepts and then execute a number of workloads, varying workloads directly on Snowflake, get all the incredible Snowflake benefits that include simplicity, speed, sustainability, and self-serve. Uh, HashMap over the years, we've developed a lot of Spark code, and traditionally our developers have used Scala or Python to operate on something like a Spark data frame. Snowflake has got a rich set of methods to manipulate data frames, and it can also be supplemented by UDFs, written in really a variety of, of programming languages. So our developers can continue to use the same third-party libraries, the packages they're familiar with, but now their code can be executed by the Snowflake compute warehouse that's adjacent to the data itself. I get minimal to no moving of data around, and also benefit by using the simplicity and speed of Snowflake. So that's what Snowpark is and how we see our developers and other developers benefiting. Next, I'd like to outline a couple of initial use cases that data-driven organizations can use Snowpark for. Number one, data transformations. It's uh, probably one of the top use cases. We talk about moving from ETL to ELT. What does that T mean within Snowflake? Snowflake is a great platform for doing data transformation and enrichment. You have scale, elasticity, consumption-based pricing, zero interference with other workloads running in the platform. And prior to Snow Park, we could use JavaScript stored procedures to do much of the complex processing. When it came to using external languages like Python, it became difficult to read data into memory, then process the data. This has all been unlocked with Snow Park. Now, the same processing can be done using an external language, Scala today, and use its programming constructs directly against the data frames to express the entire transformation and have it executed at the source. So you've got yet another option for data transformation in Snowflake now, using a framework and language that's familiar to your developers. A second great way that you can use Snowpark and put it to use is for data exploration, data profiling, similar activities you might ordinarily use in a more collaborative environment, such as a Jupyter Notebook. Our team ended up setting up an almond kernel to enable Scala within Jupyter and then use the Snowpark API to interact with data on the fly. We've also been integrating Snowpark into HashMap's MLOps framework replacing some high cost data processing clusters with the Snowpark API calls. It's a generalized use case that really can be applied across various financial services industry use cases. Think fraud detection and credit risk scoring as examples. Within this framework, the data discovery and model generation phases of the process can now utilize large data sets directly within Snowflake for activities like data prep, data quality testing, as well as doing your model training and evaluation. Because this same code does not have to be reworked into another programming language, it can also be used in model deployment and used in batch or real time, either way. HashMap, we talk a lot about alignment to the 7S design principles. We feel like Snowpark provides very good alignment here. Simplicity, ease of development and testing via custom packages, and an intelligent IDE assistant. Speedy, very fast time to market driven by shorter development time for data apps. Sustainability, leverages existing Scala Java skill sets, same tribe, same tools, self-service, analysts, data scientists, engineers can perform ad hoc data processing utilizing those familiar tools, security, everything happens within Snowflake, leveraging those out of the box security features, and scalability, you've got virtually unlimited scale within Snowflake, Lastly, savings, zero clusters, zero servers, consumption-based pricing, elasticity, and scalability. HashMap team's excited about the release of Snowpark. We're looking forward to testing out new ways to extend Snowflake workloads across everything from data applications to data engineering workloads and data science workloads.